Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Um, my mum came back, so I thought it was rude to continue recording and not say hello to her. Um, so, where was we? Where were we? Yeah. Uh, we were just reorganising the first carrier fleet. Uh, we split off the most glorious. Um, glorious. Because um, we're going to make a new carrier fleet. Um, and with glorious gone, I don't see the need to have more than six. Um, six light cruisers in the first carrier fleet, uh, seeing as I'm hoping they're never going to come into contact with any um, any uh, enemy ships. Um, and what I'm going to do is just reinforce that, just off Enterprise from the first, or from the reserve fleet even, um, and I will combine this fleet at a later date, um, send it back to Britain and combine it with possibly a, a anti-submarine fleet. Um, now, so, we've done that. Uh, we'll check the situation. Um, I would like to be able to withdraw my uh, one of my um, armor corps sometime soon. Um, I'm thinking about which one will be less integral to. Uh, well, I can withdraw the third corps immediately. Um, the third corps is pretty much. Um, yeah, well, the, the third corps is pretty much done. Um, they're off the front line anyway. Um, as is the tenth core, so we can spare the third and tenth cores. Um, but splitting off an armored division is going to be somewhat difficult. Um, technically, if I strategically bomb or logistically bomb these two provinces, um, the quickest route to Florence would be landing here and then attacking Florence directly. But I would need this port um, if I was to supply my men or Lespasia. Um, either way, um, I need something to spy my man. Um, we're getting a few supply issues. Um, I'm wondering why that is. Um, my convoy situation is fine, as I'm aware. Um, we sapped some manpower in that recent, recent, those recent uh, engagements, so I'm hoping that's not going to take too long to recover. I've got tea again, by the way, so if I randomly pause, it's because I'm drinking tea. Um, I'd like all my... Um, before the offensive begins, I would like to make sure that my carrier air groups, or indeed everything, is, um, is resting. Um, I'm going to see what I have to spare in the United Kingdom. Well, I have one division. I can hang on. I can detach this division and attach it to the 11th Corps. Um, I, so I don't actually need this at all. Um, so we have another division I can bring down. Um, and whilst it's still sort of a good opportunity to do so, uh, I'll, um, I can carry a fleet. Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, while it's still a good opportunity to do so, I will um, send that up there. Um, I'll go and get them. Um, I just attached it actually from the uh, order of battle completely. This transport. I will put it just with the Alexandria HQ for now. Uh, the Alexandria HQ of course more become the um, Italy or Mediterranean HQ as more was that. Um, thanks for all your comments, by the way, guys. They've been very helpful. Uh, Balthasar's comment about um, me sort of randomly moving the uh, the uh, mouse about and sort of scrolling crazily um, that was helpful. Um, it was very helpful. I mean, I had sort of realised I was doing that beforehand. However, hearing it from someone else is always very helpful. Um, very good. You know, it really reinforces me to actually want to do something about it. Uh, we can see that Italy and Germany are just breaking through in the Balkans. Uh, definitely the sort of Balkan alliance of uh, Yugoslavia and Greece can, can't hold. Um, I would think about intervening, but I, I can't. I have nothing to spare right now. Um, and I found Balthasar's comment quite funny, actually, because it sort of reminded me as a sort of drunken sailor sort of crazily moving the mouse about in a sort of you know jovial manner uh, it was quite funny um, but I know what he means so I, I was sort of aware I was doing that already so it was nice to hear it um, I keep checking German ports I mean I can't see Konigsberg or Bonzig, Bonzig or Konigsberg or Memel uh, but I can see their mainland ports um, when I start seeing aircraft carriers, I start getting worried. Not that uh, Germany will build any. Um, so we have the Royal Marine Corps as well. Um, so we can we have three infantry corps to spare right now. 
uh, as such, or from infantry based cores. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, I did that. That was a mistake. I went to pick up tea and that happened. Um, I'm also checking enemy movements in Japan. I can see they're starting to amass in the Siam border. Um, and considering that my force in Siam is so weak, that's definitely very concerning for me. Um, I'm even more concerned about my force in uh, Malaya. Malaya is very important for me, and I'm hoping that Japan won't attack. Uh, but hoping Japan won't attack is akin to appeasement. You know, it's it's a, a very hit or miss thing. Um, so I'm just taking our production. Um, three light cruisers, one carrier, or four light cruisers, one carrier, two carriers, uh, four carrier air groups. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. This, I think it's quite good. Um, I just want to ensure that we have one, two, three, four, five carriers, and we have five carrier air groups. So that's correct. Five carrier air groups being in groups of two as well, so don't forget that. Um, the situation in Denmark is fine. I have some destroyers here. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. I never do anything, so sort of crappy destroyers. Um, we could break through in this province if I attack with marines here. Uh, I do need two provinces here and here to be strategically bombed. Um, and being able to hold these two is... This is the smallest front, so I probably stand the greatest chance of doing so, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Um, I'm um, just a bit wary. I'm going to send my submarines to convoy raid slightly closer in to a uh, German, to sorry, not German, Italian ports. Um, oh look, the ships. Um, they might they might get slightly more success there. Um, I'll send my fleets briefly back to port um, since nothing is happening right now. It's definitely a stalemate. Uh, I'm sure if we look at the strengthometer of doom. Um, yeah, well, Germany, un unsurprisingly, seems more strong. Um, subs. Um, damaged. Can I get them? No, not of these. Um, subs are quite vulnerable whilst in port. Um, you, it's always quite good to... Uh, Make sure, or at least check, that you have some kind of anti-aircraft defences in port um, where, where you've based your submarines. Um, otherwise, they, you've just left an open opportunity, really. Um, I'm not overly concerned about these submarines. I haven't been taking any co convoy losses, really, over the last few months. But um, that doesn't mean they're not worth sinking. Of course they're worth sinking. It gives me experience, if anything. Um... Oh, I've still got this attached to the wrong army. Um, whoa. Oh, sorry, yeah. That was my division. It's going to go. My um, carrier, my model carrier groups, my multi rolls are having some difficulty, um, as you might expect. They're having to hold back the entire Luftwaffe, essentially. Luftwaffe. I love Luftwaffe. <laughs> Fifth Army. So the Fifth Army essentially controls the West, whilst the First First Army controls the East. Uh, I would say the First Army is slightly stronger, um, and I may be able to actually pull out my Armored Corps here. Um, not in this province quite yet. Um, if I move forward, my Eleventh Corps. Um, when these transports get here. Um, I move forward my 11th Corps, I can um, reinforce. Uh, I will move the 9th Highland Division of the 9th Corps uh, back to this province as a rear guard and move these three divisions forward into Ancona. Uh, actually no, we'll move the whole lot, we'll move them all here um, in preparation to withdraw my armour. Um, 
Uh, did we get those? We must have tanked those now. They've gone. Um, or they've either run away. Either way, you know, getting rid of them. I've got rid of them. Friendly. Um, the operation I'm about to try, I have to say, is probably about, as Stealth Pro puts it, 10 out of 10 on the risk scale. Um, so maybe I should come up with a name for it. Or maybe not a name, maybe just something cool. Is there any... I swear I had three strategic bombers rather than two. Or am I just going totally insane? I, I guess... I'm, I'm not being insane, am I? The Britain, Britain starts with three wings of strategic bombers, not two. Where's one gone? Strategic bomber command. Well, I have to say I'm slightly confused by that. Uh, my supply situation is okay. Um, I have to say I would like to have some bigger ports, actually. Uh, I think I may have underestimated the size of Italian ports. Um, my supply issues aren't hugely acute as of yet. Um, but my troops are losing organisation. Um, but one, I, I'm thinking that once I divert some these three corps and perhaps another armour corps off to um, La Spezia or uh, Pisa. Pisa. Oh, Leaning Tower of Pizza. Pizza, Infants. We're about to go on holiday, really. That's, that's where we're going. That's where we tell the lads, anyway. Before we throw them into MG 42s again. What I'm slightly concerned about is even if I can neutralise these two provinces through strategic bombing, or through logistic bombing, um, I do need to make sure they are in my fighter range. Yes, they are. Um, That I, I'm still slightly wary of my ability to um, uh, logistic bombing. There it is. Um, I'm still slightly wary of my ability to actually um, take down enemy troops through organisation losses. I need to wait for these these provinces to have zero or uh, or less than ten percent um, infrastructure before I can launch anything. Air support will be crucial to this operation if we are to succeed. Nav paid. Um, yeah, um, I think we can take that out. Oh, I didn't take that out. I put it right up to the top. It's the opposite of taking it out. Uh, we're researching mechanized infantry. Uh, very nice. Okay, we're getting attacked in air, in the air. Not in air. In 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 air makes no sense. Oh, tea. Tea is beautiful, by the way. If you have never tried tea, you haven't lived. And I'm serious, by the way. Tea is just astonishingly amazing. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's an internet insult I've never understood. It's, if you're a Brit, go and drink tea. Well, I quite happily do that, to be honest. Um, and also, that's just not very offensive. Um, Saying eat scones or drink tea just it's very, very poor on the insult scale. <laughs> okay, so this province is down to three uh, infrastructure. But they've started bombing the other one now. Um, I'm hoping that's going to change. Um, so we can pull out our armor core now. The first armor core. Just slightly rearranged my order of battle there. The first army now has this corps under its command as well. Um, and I put the first army corps under the control of the fifth army. Um, I would like these marines to be under the control of the fifth army as well, but I don't think that's possible. Um,
Hopefully I'll cause them some supply issues as well, but I, I somewhat doubt that. Right. I don't like this at all. The supply situation is not good. Um, to alleviate my supply situation, I'm actually going to rebase some of my... Uh, well, rebase in the liberal sense. I'm not really going to rebase them. Stop! Turn around! Um, if you use the shift move, or move order and you rebase fleets, you can actually... Um, well, they're actually technically supplied from a different port. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is therefore to uh, alleviate my supply uh, network without having to put any uh, additional... Uh, without actually having to sacrifice my units. Um, so you can see they're all supplied from various bases. I don't want to... I want to supply them from non-Italian ports is what I want to do. So not Panama or um, So... I, that might that would do something to alleviate my supply situation. Something being very little. Um, Alexandria. I'm trying to find places which have decent supply. The supply Alexandria has a supply um, has a supply stockpile, so we'll put we'll put the fleet there. Um, Right, supply is still poor here. Um, supply from Taranto. Required supply is 34. And we receive none. Um, so there's obviously a big issue here. Um, well, this offensive couldn't come at a sooner time then, really, could it? We have five new... No, we don't have five new... Oh, okay. I didn't realise I was doing this. Apparently at some point I made the decision to reinforce these these divisions um, with artillery, which is fine. It's always tempting to empty the UK of divisions completely. Um, ooh, ow, ow, that hurt, whatever that was. This is why relying on air superiority is always somewhat risky, because um, Right, okay, so we've got those two provinces down to no infrastructure, essentially. Um, can we rebase these fleets elsewhere? Yeah, they're supplied from Alexandria already. Um, they're supplied from Napoli. Uh, I'm actually going to send the second carrier fleet home. Um, I was not impressed by a, <laughs> by a Glorious's performance. They have to go home and bring and reflect on their... Uh, on their poor performance. Taking this province would also be quite nice because it's also an airbase. So, uh, what's quite disconcerting is even though these have zero infrastructure, enemy units still seem to be moving through them. Um, well, this is the right side to make the major offensive on. Um, Pushing three corps may actually be slightly excessive. Uh, three, an armor corps, an infantry corps, and a royal marine corps, I think, will be far sufficient. Uh, perhaps too much. Um, to um, perhaps too much than I should. Convoys protected. Uh, that's the phone. I'm going to be back in a.